Well, for the first time ever in a while, I'm not going to be covering a dumb fuck brony for a change. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, where do I begin with all this craziness? Well, this video is about Meet Jubilee, a streamer and Pokétuber. Well, uh, let me correct myself because I don't want to get killed by those awful PC police because we all know how brutal they are. But I will get into that more as we go along with the video because she does denounce herself from the Pokétuber community. Our little pal Jubilee has gotten into feminism. I don't know when or how long she's been into it, but she is. So yeah, we have ourselves in Anita Sarkeesian 2.0. My goodness, what the hell is going on with you, Jubilee? We start this magical journey with a video released by Jubilee known as Women in Gaming Rant. Blood boil. Being a girl isn't a f***ing handicap. We're I will say this video was a freaking wild ride, which I thought this video was funny as hell, mainly due to Jubilee telling those damn men what they need to stop saying to those women, gamer. Stop telling women that they're good for a girl. Just saying that out loud, like, makes my skin crawl and my blood boil. Be All those men always harassing those women gamers. Do you have any shame? Oh, Jubes, I feel your pain, sweetie. Oh, let me hug you. Oh, you poor abused feminist. All you wanted to do is make gaming great for women again. I feel your pain, baby bird. But I love how you don't show any video or screenshot evidence to back her claims, and... The screenshot she does show go more against her than help her. Pokemon is not a real game. Animal Crossing is not a real game. The Sims is not a real game. Mario is not a real game. Stardew Valley is not a real game. Mobile games are not real games. Put down the baby games and play something that requires challenge and skill for once. Sincerely, all the actual gamers. <sighs> I'm aware that this guy is especially an a but- Now this is a confusing point because one, she doesn't show this actual tweet, she shows a screenshot, so finding it was a little bit difficult. I don't even know if the source I found it on is actually the one she's referring to because she doesn't provide a link, she doesn't provide anything to help me find it. But then again, looking at this tweet, it was posted by a girl. Again, the way you went through this video, I can't be sure this is the tweet you're talking about. And considering I actually talked to the person who posted this, they said it was a meme tweet. A bait tweet. You don't show the tweets. You don't show who posted it. What am I supposed to do? You're even willing to show tweets later in your video, so why not this one? Why not put awareness to this guy? Also, I love how you're taking a post and ignoring the rest of it. No, you're not a gamer. I'm so sick of all these people who think they're gamers. No, you're not. Most of you are not even close to being gamers. I see people saying, I put well over 100 hours in this game, it's great. That's nothing. Most of us can easily put 300 plus hours in all our games. I see people who only have Nintendo Switch and claim to be gamers. Come talk to me when you pick up a PS4 controller, and then we be friends. Well, first of all, this is clearly made by a console peasant, because PC is actually considered to be more for hardcore gamers. Stop making sh like this. Who are you, the gaming police? What the f*** is this? What horny ass incel gamer designed this sh Oh, that's Risa Abata. You know a woman? Uh, <coughs> Also, love how you're willing to assume that a man did this design. Kinda reminds me of how people call Bayonetta over-sexualized and blame men for it, even though she was designed by a woman. What horny-ass incel gamer designed this sh I'm beginning to think that maybe the reason you get mean comments isn't due to the fact that you're a girl. Look at her back. It's literally breaking from the massive t Oh, and how convenient that they use the same screenshot that so many other people have, but if you look at other screenshots of the game, her back looks fine. It could just be because of the angle, the camera, or even a glitch. Critique it all you want, but don't dictate to me what people shouldn't be allowed to create. Stop making game- Jesus, Jubilee, what the fuck are you doing? This is expert levels of underachieving, my goodness, what the fuck are you doing? I don't think that wine, that is wine in her video. I think that's Anita Sarkeesian juice. How sad, Jubilee. How sad. 
Right after this video, our buddy Maga Kamen would go on to make a video to debunk Jubilee's video. You may be wondering, Jubilee, what gives you the authority to speak on all these topics? And that's a great question. It's because I'm a f woman. Really? Because I don't see how it's the qualification. I mean, if anything, I could say it's more of a bias that you've got. And throw in the fact that a lot of this video ends up to be anecdotal with you not even providing a single clip to back this up. I mean, why is your gender the only qualification you have about this? Oh, how dare you! He made a video on her! Don't you have any class, you horrible, horrible person! How could you do this to our poor Jubilee? Do you have any soul, you sick human being? What would occur after this is a lovely video would be a shitstorm of epic proportions. My goodness, what a freaking show. Because our baby bird Jubilee would go well. Let's go, Bumper! Oh boy, this was freaking funny as hell. Holy shit, what is going on? Also, her fiance Mikey, aka Mad JTV, and YouTube and on Twitch would jump into the ball pit to say that Maga Comment was attacking Jubilee. I will say, Mikey, my soy boy buddy, how is he attacking Jubilee, Mikey? Are you gonna give me an answer? No, is it because you're talking out of your ass? Good to know, buddy. Not too long after this, he made a tweet people would proceed to well make our little pal Mikey cry like a baby oh how embarrassing Mikey oh how embarrassing this would only get better because her friend Kate would also get into the ball pit and try to defend Jubilee but Kate's tweet put this video by Jubilee in perspective good analysis Kate she did put her foot in her mouth during this fun Jubilee would also lock up her comment section on that video the reason I know this is because I made a tweet talking about this after this, however, Jubilee would proceed to block me. That's not an L, folks. That is a W. Wow, winning. Oh, believe me, this Twitter storm would only get better because one person was going to try to take Maga Common's video down. The reason for this is because boo-hoo, it contained jokes. My goodness, people are salty. That if a video says anything negative about a person they like, they got to take it down good job this is so sad so sad indeed next up on the list of craziness is jubilee's femlock that she wanted to make but you know our pal jubilee she's got to get everyone mad the pokemon community were pretty ticked because of the rules of this thing and i will say the rules for this thing are freaking wild let's take a read shall we so the rules are that Pokemon will have three lives and they will gain one additional life for every new Pokemon. Whatever is that supposed to mean? And also, doesn't this sup supposedly defeat the purpose of a Nuzlocke? And she said that she they don't die because we don't throw away women. She even states that it, this Nuzlocke fails. So in a way, this is a Nuzlocke. When a Pokemon faints in a Nuzlocke, they are dead. They cannot be used again and have to be released. Those are the rules to a Nuzlocke. So understandably, the Pokemon community is extremely mad. And what happened to Jubilee when people brought this up to her? Well, she... So yeah, Jubilee wasn't happy with people telling her that her Femlock wasn't a Nuzlocke and called her out on her rules. After this, she would go on to lead the Pokemon community and make a full statement as of why. Because the community didn't bend their knees to her bullshit. Holy fuck, what a cunt. So she would say that Twitter is an unsafe place for women, but why are you still on it to this very day? It doesn't make any sense. If Twitter is so unsafe as you so claim it is, then why are you still here? Also, she says that the gaming community is also unsafe for women, and then she goes on to talk about Gamergate, which has been dead for years. My goodness, Jubilee, how stupid are you? Here's a tweet of her talking about people threatening her life. My goodness, this sounds like Brianna Wu shit. Jesus Christ. I had no idea your life could change this suddenly. You know, one minute I sent a tweet and 24 hours later, I had to leave my house. I thought that I was going to die. One time I looked at Twitter and there were six specific death threats for me. And we had to call the police. Christ. This tweet is the funniest of them all. I'll bring up, bring up basic bitch tactics to silence you. Yeah, coming from the woman who locked up her comment section of their video like a nun's badge. Oh! 
with everything she's doing she's losing subs just about every day her views are going down these are her social blade numbers for may 16th so this is the last thing i will talk about in this video mikey tells someone to die a horrible death you gotta see this to believe it holy fucking shit mikey you are a twit super th rude things in my chat uh not not that's insta ban instantly banned like please unsubscribe and never ever ever come back to my channel that's right <laughs> like <laughs> you don't like my content why are you here like <laughs> that's right I don't gtfo like loser nobody you, loves you, you, you especially not, not us you do not matter to me, and your opinions are rude, and I hope that you, um, never come back. Bye. And die a horrific death. <laughs> and die a horrific death. I was trying not to be that horrible, Mike. <laughs> See, you're, it's good cop, bad cop. You're the good cop, I'm the bad cop. <laughs> good cop, bad cop, yeah, true. He would go on to say that he was sorry about this, but Mikey, sorry bud, the damage is done. Mikey, you're a freaking dick. So with all that said, if Jubilee keeps going down this path, she's going to keep losing subs. This is a tragic thing because I used to have some level of respect for her, but after what her and Mikey have done, I've lost all my respect for them. And with that one said, I'm going to be taking a Jim Cornette line to end this. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye.